no thanks, Turnip. It's almost lunchtime. <laughs> Guys, the captain! Octonauts, we've just spotted a beautiful beach. Now, we've all been working hard, so how about we take the afternoon off and have a picnic? All right! Sounds great. Delightful. We'll find a good spot, mateys. And then you can join us on the beach. Octonauts, prepare for a picnic. Captain, I think Tunip just said that the Vegemals will make your favourite dessert, vanilla kelp pudding. Thanks, Tunip. Be sure to make plenty for everyone, because you can never have too much pudding. Barnacles out. <sighs> Fresh air, sunshine and sand. Ah, can't wait to kick off me boots and dig me paws in the sand. It's so quiet and peaceful and... Ah, ah, ah. Are you hurt? Ah. Don't be afraid, little crab. What's wrong? It, it, it's my leg. It, it really hurts. I'm Peso. I'm a medic. I help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Let me take a look. Uh, right here. Hmm. You need a bandage. <laughs> As new. Oh, thanks. That's much better. How did you hurt your leg? I fell off a rock when I was running away from the blob. <gasps> What's the blob? It's a thing that grows bigger and bigger and bigger. How big does it get? So big that it pushed me right off the rock where I live. If you don't get out of the way, it stings you. I got away, but my crab friends are still there, trapped in a hole in the rock. I have to go back and save them from... the blob. You won't have to do it alone. We'll help you. Aye, matey. We're not afraid of... the blob. Oh, wow. First you fixed my leg, and, and now you're going to help me and my friends. Who, who are you guys? We are the Octonauts. Barnacles to Dashy. Dashy here, Captain. I'm afraid it's not picnic time just yet. We need to take care of an emergency on the beach first. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll be at HQ if you need us. Don't worry, Tunip. You can still make pudding. We're almost to the rock where my friends are trapped. <gasps> there it is. The blob. That's the blob, me hearty. It's a puny little thing. Yeah, but one blob can become two blobs. And two blobs can become four blobs. <laughs> That's how it gets so big. Look! Flappity flippers. That's where my friends are trapped. Barnacles to Shellington. Shellington here, Captain. Have you ever heard of creatures that can split in two and make copies of themselves? Why, yes, Captain. Those are aggregate anemones. Aggravating enemies? No, no, no. Aggregate anemones. They can make lots and lots of copies of themselves. And when two groups of these anemones meet, they fight over space. They have special stingers for attacking each other. No! 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 Uh oh! It's hit the Octo Alert! Oh, 
Optonauts, are you all right? Captain, we were just attacked by... Oh, no. The radio's broken. Mm. Vanilla kelp pudding. Mm. Delicious. We've lost contact with the octopod. Ah, I bet these anemones are trying to take over the octopod just like they took over this rock. Hmm. Dashi said they were under attack. We need to get back there right away. Uh, don't leave me here alone. We won't. Peso, stay here with our crab friend, but don't move. Quasi and I will be back as soon as we can. Yes, Captain. Quasi, let's go. Into the gum. Don't worry. We'll help your friends just as soon as the captain gets back. <laughs> oh, no. They're making more copies of themselves. <gasps> oh, my. There's a different group of anemones on the other side of the rock. Ooh. They're getting closer. Ah, I don't see anyone in HQ. Just a whole lot of blobs. All right, we're going in. Yeah, it's quiet. Too quiet. I don't like all this quiet. Then... Why are we whispering? Hmm. Oh. Shiver me, whisk! Yeah. Sh sorry, Captain. What? We're having a bit of a, a pudding problem. Pudding? pudding. Mm -hmm. Well, at least it's a tasty problem. Hi, Captain. But we need to get back to the beach to help Peso. Don't worry, Cap. We'll get this pudding problem fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. All right, Tweak. Quasi, into the gup again. Peso, we're on our way. Hold your position. I don't think I have much of a choice, Captain. Ow! They're stinging each other. Ow! 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 That really hurt. Oh yeah, I stung you because you stung me. You stung me first. No, you stung me first. Ow! 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 Got you last. Ow! <laughs> Got you last. Ow! 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 My friends, they'll get stung. Ow! 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 Stop! Anemones, please. Stop stinging each other! Octonauts, Tweak has invited us all here today to show us her latest top secret invention. Ready, Tweak? Ready, Cap! Avast! What are you putting on my ship? Don't get your tail twisted, Quasi. This here is gonna keep the gubs from getting banged up all the time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Never crash again. Never? <laughs> but uh, even the best pilots can make mistakes sometimes. That's right. But when I use my remote control to turn on these boxes, the gups can drive themselves. I call it the Smart Duck Remote Control. Yes. Yes. It's an amazing invention, Tweak. I never thought a gup could drive like that without a good pilot behind the wheel. Ah, uh, no remote control can pilot the gup B as well as I can. With the smart gup remote control, anybody can be a great pilot. Here, Shellington, <gasps> give it a whirl. Um, but, uh, well, no, I, I've never been the best driver. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh no! Look! They're going to hit the octopod! Oh! Oh! Shiver! Whiskers! Don't worry! <laughs> With the smart gut remote control, the gubs are totally crash-proof! 
They stop by themselves before they crash into anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Tweak, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. Without the remote, I can't control the gups. Five runaway gups. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the octopod. Octonauts, we need to catch these runaway gups. The gups went that way, towards that underwater canyon. Tweak, how soon can you have the remote fixed? Faster and you can say, uh, six to eight weeks. I have to order some new parts, so it's going to be a while. Hmm. Then we'll just have to swim out there and round up the gups ourselves. Swim? Even I can't swim that fast. Tweak. Are there any other vehicles that we could use? Well, there is one. The Gub F. The, the Gub F. F? So slow. Oh, the Gub F isn't so bad, Quasi. Keep pedaling. I think we're really starting to pick up some speed. Speed? Just wait till I'm back in the gut B. I'll show you speed. There they are. Pedal. <laughs> we'll never catch up to them in this thing, Captain. Quasi, let's not get distracted. Huh? We're coming up fast behind you. You'd better move along. Who do these speedy show-offs think they are? We're sailfish. Pacific sailfish, the fastest fish in the ocean. They have to be fast. The herd sardines like that. Watch. Look how they work together to get them all in a tight group. Are my eyes playing tricks on me, or are they changing colours? They seem to change colours when they get really excited. Check out the old shipwreck. I wonder how fast that baby can go. Yeah, probably about as fast as a sleeping sea snail. Oi, who are you calling a sleeping sea snail? Get back here! Hold on, Quasi. They might be able to help us. Help us? The only other thing I've seen move as fast as they do is the Gop B. Hello, a sailfish. We were wondering if you could help us find our missing ships. Sorry, fellas, but we're in a hurry. We're following the sardines up the coast. Ah, forget about these slow coaches, Captain. Uh, slow coaches? I just don't think they're fast enough to help us. I suppose you're right, Quasi. They probably couldn't keep up with the gups anyway. Good one, Captain. Now they want to prove how fast they are. Couldn't keep up. You gotta be kidding. We're the fastest things in the whole ocean. We'll find those ships. Grab under those sails, guys. Let's go. Fast enough for you back there. Ha ha ha! Hi, matey! Ha! <laughs> I like this guy. There they are, straight ahead. Follow those gups. We better split.
split off and herd him into a tighter group. Excellent job. Now aim for the smart gut boxes. It worked! All right, matey. Now! Got it! Phew! These things are quicker than they look. If we don't stop it now, we might never see it again. Not on my watch. Yeah! Just a little further, Quasi. We'll stop him up ahead. Stop him? How are you going to... or any other creatures swimming around here. Aye, where'd all the little fishies go? Mm. This is creepy. It's like a ghost town down here. Blech. You mean a gross town. Shellington, what is this green mess? It's algae. Algae is a common plant in the ocean, but there's a lot more here than usual. <laughs> Yep, all this slimy algae keeps clogging up octopod faster than I can clean it out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Dashy. Didn't see you there behind me. <sighs> <gasps> A boss, mateys. Over here. What is it, Quasi? Look. <gasps> Professor Inkling, do you see how slowly those lobsters and crabs are moving? I do, Shellington. Very strange. Do you think it has anything to do with all this algae? Hmm, <laughs> not sure. Though this does seem familiar. <laughs> These creatures are poorly. We have to help them, Captain. Agreed. But first, we have to work out what's wrong. <laughs> oh, poor little fellow. What do you make of this, Quasi? Never seen anything quite like it. Psst, come on, this way. All this algae seems to be making them ill. Professor, have you ever heard of such a thing? I've observed this problem before, but where? <gasps> Hold on, Shellington, I can check my books. To the library! Look at this! There's a leak in this pipe. Hmm. I wonder if that could be part of the... Hmm? Oh! Whoa! Ah! Oh no! The octopod is taking off without us! <laughs> We've got to catch the octopod! Octonauts, to the gups! Octonauts, we've got to get back on board the octopod. Yuck! More algae. Wazi, activate windscreen wipers. Aye, Captain. Gup A to Octopod, Gup A to Octopod, come in Octopod. Professor Inkling, this is Captain Barnacles. Can you hear me? Please come in. Gup A to Octopod, is anyone there? Come in. 
Hmm, now, where are my books about algae? I know they're here somewhere. No one's answering. That's odd. I was just talking to the professor a few minutes ago. I hope he's okay. Maybe he's taking a nap. Ah, if it's not the professor, then who's steering the octopod? <laughs> <gasps> ah, here we are. Algae. Uh -huh. <laughs> lots of algae. Uh -huh. Lots and lots of algae. Captain Barnacles, if I can just get close enough, I think I can grab the octopod. Go for it, Tweak. Well done! Whoa! We've got to get back on board the octopod. Are you with me, Quasi? Aye, matey. Peso, you drive. Me? Aye, aye, sir. Octonauts, let's do this! <laughs> Come on, we've got to get to the Octo Hatch. Professor Inkling could be in trouble. Yeah. All about algae. Everything about algae. Mm -hmm. Everything else about algae. Ah. She won't open. Let me try. Sometimes. It takes some polar bear strength! Combined with some cat-like quickness! <laughs> ha! To, to get, get the, the job, job done! done. Yeah. Hey! Follow me! Quasi, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Shiver me whiskers. The octopod was taken by these crusty little fellas? Ahem. Uh oh. Run for it. <laughs> yeah. Give up. You've got us. Why did you crabs and lobsters take the octopod? <laughs> and uh, why are you all coughing and wheezing? I ain't gonna lie to you. Me and my friends here, we were feeling ill. <laughs> so we, um, bothered your octopod? Because to get better, we had to leave our home and go someplace where there isn't so much algae. Jumping jellyfish! So all that algae was making you ill. But where did all that algae come from in the first place? Hmm, I wonder if the water's polluted. Polluted? Yes, that's when things get into the water that shouldn't be there, which could make the algae grow until there's too much of it. But what's polluting the water? Cap, the leaky pipe. That's right. The leaky pipe we saw must be putting something bad into the water. What about the other creatures that are still there? They may need our help. That's right, Peso. And that's why we're going back to fix that leaky pipe and clean up that extra algae. 
I've got it! It's right in this book. The water's polluted, which is causing too much algae to grow, which is making creatures ill! Ha <laughs> ha! What? Ah, this spyglass is no good. It's supposed to help me see things far away, but I can't make out what that big shape is. Besides, we're so far down, it's dark as night. Good thing the octoscope can see in the dark. Can you give us a better picture of what's out there, Dashy? Aye, aye, Captain. It looks like a ship of some kind. <gasps> Shiver me whiskers! Unless I miss me guess, that's the pirate shipwreck of Calico Jack himself! Calico who? Calico Jack. He was me grandfather and the finest cat pirate ever to roam the seven seas. And he had a golden spyglass. The spyglass was passed down from one member of me family to the next. But before it could pass down to me, Calico Jack's ship sank in the North Atlantic Ocean. And that golden spyglass sank with it. The North Atlantic Ocean? But that's where we are now. Quasi, do you really think that could be the pirate ship of Calico Jack out there? Hi, Captain. Then let's go and investigate. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a mysterious ship out there that may have belonged to Quasi's grandfather, Calico Jack. Our mission is to explore the shipwreck and help Quasi find his grandfather's spyglass. Peso, Dashy, Quasi, let's go. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Can't you go any faster, Captain? Quasi, that shipwreck has been down there for years. It'll still be there in a few minutes. Look, everyone. There it is. Well, Quasi, do you think it's Calico Jack's ship? That's got to be a carving of your grandfather. He even looks like you. Let's go inside. Yeah! Huh? Hold on, Quasi. Huh? This may have been a pirate ship once, but now she's home to hundreds of plants and animals. So, Octonauts, be extra careful. We don't want to disturb anything. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Have you got that, Quasi? Quasi? Uh, I wonder where that spyglass might be. Yow! Spiky sea urchins! Before I could grab it, I got slimed! Who goes there? We may not be able to see, but we can still smell you and hear you, Dag Nabbit. Uh-oh. It looks like this is slime eel territory. Get off our property or I'll slime you again. Sorry, Quasi. We've got to go. Why? But what about the spyglass? Just leave it, Quasi. Two! No! It was me grandfather's and it should be mine! But Quasi... Three! Okay, boys, let him have it. <gasps> uh. 
Quasi was covered all over with this disgusting slime. Fascinating. A single slime eel can produce a bucket of slime in no time at all. Tell me about it. That's the slime eel's way of protecting itself and its home, especially since it can't see. There certainly were a lot of slime eels protecting that spyglass. Not to mention spiky sea urchins and tangly seaweed. Sorry, Quasi. It's probably too dangerous to go back. What would a slime eel want with a spyglass anyway? <sighs> I'm going to bed. Calico Jack. Spyglass. It's mine. 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 The spyglass is mine! <sighs> Quasi. This time, I'm not leaving without that spyglass. Um. My grandfather's spyglass. At last. Oh, great. You again. So you're back for some more, eh? Quasi! Ah, I finally had me grandfather's spyglass, till this wooden beam fell down and trapped me. Ah, I can't move it without bringing the whole ship down. Didn't we warn you to clear out of here and never come back? Ah, you caught me, slime eel. I suppose you're going to slime me again. Well, go ahead. Mm. That's it. You're right. Ahem. Go ahead. Slime him. I dare you. What? But... My pleasure. You call that sliming someone? Huh. You missed him. Yeah, well, I can't see, remember? Captain, what are you... The slime will make Quasi's tail slippery, and we can pull him loose. Oh, try a little lower next time. Peso, what are you saying? We... Just a little lower. You asked for it. Great work, Slime Eel. Let's pull. I'm free. Thanks, matey. Quasi, Peso, have you had any luck finding seaweed samples for Shellington? Hi, Captain. I'd say we've got every colour of seaweed there is. I can't wait to study each one under the microscope. We'll be there with your seaweed just as fast as we can, matey. See you back at the octopod. Barnacles out. What do you say we go a wee bit faster to get home? Maybe a little faster would be OK. <laughs> Something's wrong. He's stuck. I can't slow her down or make her stop. Rocks! Yeah! Huh? I'm... I'm okay. Are you? Hi. But our radio isn't. And the octopod is too far away for us to call them on our helmet radios. Well, matey, the first thing to do is get out and take a look at the gut. Ah, there's a bunch of seaweed stuck in the propeller. I'll pull it out. Let me help. 
off the gup. We'll use it to let Captain Barnacles know where we are. So he'll be able to come and save us. Good idea. Is everything okay down there? Ah, got it! Yes! Now! Give that back, you scurvy dog! Fish! Stop! That's our gub finder! <sighs> now what? Now we find land. <gasps> land! Come on! Quasi and Peso should be back by now. I'm on it, Captain. Octopod to Quasi and Peso. Their radio's not working, Captain. Activate the Gup Finder. It'll show us where they are. Hmm. The Gup Finder shows that they're heading away from the Octopod. But they said they'd come home right away. Something's wrong. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi and Peso's radio is broken, and the Gup Finder is showing that they're heading away from the Octopod. Oh my, they could be lost or in trouble. Professor, I'm going after them. The Gup is ready to go, Cap. Squeak, open the Octo Hatch. You got it, Cap. I wonder if there's anyone on this island who can help us. Doesn't look like it. Visitors! Hey! <laughs> Hello and welcome! What? <clears throat> Down here, my friends. Down here. Welcome to the island where the breeze is cool, the sand is warm, and the fish can walk. Well spotted, my friend. Most fish can't walk on land, but I'm not most fish. I'm a comb tooth Blenny. You can call me Blenny for short. Ha <laughs> ha! Who are you? We're the Octonauts. I'm Peso. And I'm Quasi. We need to get back home to the Octopod as soon as possible. Too bad you can't stay for a while. I was just getting warmed up. See you around. It could take Captain Barnacles a while to find us here. If he could find us at all. Don't worry me, Hearty. I learned how to get off a desert island back in me pirate days. All we have to do is build a raft and sail away. Let's do it. I've almost caught up with them. Where's the gup E? Huh? What's that dogfish got? You've got the gup finder. But that means Quasi and Peso could be anywhere. Time to set sail. Leaving already? Well, till we meet again. Goodbye, me hearty. Nice to meet you. Heave ho, matey. <laughs> ah. yeah. uh. Sinking. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> ah, our raft is gone. This is a disaster. Don't worry, Peso. I'll think of something else. Wait, I have an idea. Maybe we could send a message for help. That's impossible, me hearty. We've got no radio, no gut finder, nothing. We just need a messenger. We can't get off the island, but we can send a message with someone who can. Huh? Blenny! 
Would you deliver a message to Captain Barnacles on the Octopod and tell them where we are, please? I'd love to, but Blennies like me don't go in deep water. We have to stay in the shallow water around the island, you know? But what if you swim out just far enough to pass the message along to someone else? Hey, that's a great idea. Consider it done, my friends. See? I told you I'd think of something. <sighs> Well, this is about as deep as I can go. Oh, hey, excuse me, Bluefish, spare a minute. Oh, hello. Hi, I need to get a message to the deep. Tell Captain Barnacles that there are two octonauts named Quasi and Peso, and they're stuck on a desert island. I can't swim too deep, but I can pass along the word to some folks who can. Thanks, you're a pal. Giant Squid, can I ask you a favour, please? I need to pass on a message. Tell Captain Barnacles, two Octobots named Crazy and Pesto are stuck in the desert. Need some help? All right, I'll tell me friends. How do? Got any news? Aye, Anglerfish. Tell Captain Farnacles that some octagons named Lazy and Ernesto are stuck in some dessert. Go as deep as you can and pass it on. Oh, right. Will do. Huh? What's that? Here. Gotta get a message to Napkin Carbuncles about some octagons named Hay and Presto. They've deserted, or they're stuck, or something like that. Anyway, pass it on. Octagons stuck. Maybe he meant octonauts. Wait, uh, can you lead me to these octagons? I mean, octonauts? Afraid not, but I can put you in touch with the giant squid what told me about it. Then lead the way. 